TitleMatchNetwork.com. I called Vince to see if I could, you know, come to work for him. Were you unhappy in WCW? Is that why you left? Yeah. Uh, you came in now as a stalker, I believe. Yeah. Well, here's what happened. And it's, it's not really Bischoff's fault because, you know, he really, I think Bischoff tried to make it up to me. But it was at the end of my contract where I came back and worked with Flair. And, you know, it may have been one of those coat and tie, you know, uh, decisions to where, okay, you know, we got to get him to work one last time, you know, before his contract is out and then get him out the door because if the doctor doesn't clear him, we got to, we still got to keep paying him. Well, when I blew my knee out, it was like one day after my, uh, uh, contract had expired so man i was i was screwed and and eric said don't worry man i'll i'll figure out something i can do with you he wouldn't take my calls so i had the surgery and of course uh, you know their company because i was injured while i was working for their company you know they paid for the surgery but eric was still there you know so i it was uh I didn't hold a grudge, but I just, you know, I thought, you know, it's this business. It always comes back around. It comes back around. Well, I called Vince. I got to the biggest I've ever been during that time. I got to, I was 365 pounds. You know, I was sitting at home, you know, I was, I, wife, you know, we got a new baby. I'm with the baby. And, uh, you know, I'd save my money and, you know, we, we were okay, but it was getting time to where I had to do something. So I started training and, you know, trying to get my weight back down. I mean, I got big, I, I was, you know, big, like my old man. And, uh, I've got pictures and, and you know, it's unreal. It's, I, uh, I've gone from 365 down to 230 pounds right now. I'm, I'm 240, you know, and, and, you know, nowadays, you know, you got to be in, in halfway decent shape, look halfway decent if you, if you want to work for either one of the right. big companies, you know. So uh, that's uh, – I just decided that I was going to try to get back in working form. And I called Vince, and he said, okay. This is when we had the conversation about him remembering when I left. Huh. Okay, so I would left him twice. I left him once you know, grudgingly. And then the second time I left him was because of, you know, the thing that happened with my like my dad and my brother. So I think that, I think what it was is that, you know, Vince has a way, you know, of kind of making guys, you know, kind of makes you tap dance for him before right. he's going to do anything. You know, he's going to, he's going to let you work for it if you're going to get anything. So he came up, he, he put me in this stalker deal, which, you know, I, I still don't know, you know, if it could have done anything. But, I mean, wrestling fans knew, you know, they they knew who Barry Wendell was. You know, it, all I had to do is just get my fat ass back in shape, you know, and I could have worked as Barry Wendell. He could have used me, you know, mid-card or whatever. Or, but, but, you know, there I was fat ass out of shape and and you know he says well we'll just camouflage him you know so <laughs> so i don't know if it was a you know i don't know if it was a rib or right or if, or if he really thought you know that that it would go somewhere but i mean you know he spent some money on it you know he came down to my place in georgia and uh uh bruce pritchard and i you know uh, uh we sat down and we thought out some ideas you know about you know what what should this character be, you know, and there I was and all the camouflage and painted, you know, right. hidden in the woods and all that. And, and, and I was trying to, you know, I was trying to figure out in my mind, how am I going to make this character work? You know, uh, you know, I've always been, you know, the widow maker was me, right. You know, so, it was, you know, it was the, the Barry Wyndham, the widow maker, but now here it is, you know, it's not Barry Wyndham, the stalker. It's, it's the stalker. So I'm thinking, man, I just, I, I can't put my finger on this. You know, I just, I can't figure this one out. So what I did is I just eventually 
as, as Vince was working me along, you know, I'd be on the road. We were on the road a lot. I just slowly started painting less. Then I went to colored like a uh, red and red and black and orange camouflage pants right. and, and no shirt. And I started wearing the, you know, the cowboy boots that I've been wearing for so long. So one night we were in the garden. He asked me, he said, why are you wearing the cowboy boots under the, under the, under the uh, camouflage? He says, I, you know, I thought you were going to wear like the military style. And I said, Vince, you know, I can work better in these. I said, these other boots are so heavy. You know, I'm lighter on my feet. And he says, he said, okay. Well, I was under contract. But I don't think that he liked, you know, the answer that I gave him. So, you know, I went home. He, he sent me home. Well, actually, the way it works, you know, is with Vince. You get, you get paid when you're working. Sorry. And then if you're not working, you get what's left of your contract at the end of the contract. You know, I was gullible enough, you know, to sign that one. You know, I worked it out and I sat with him, you know, man to man at a table. And, you know, I just thought it wasn't an, an understanding. Well, that, that's what it was. You know, he tried to starve me out. You know, it's either, you know, okay, quit, give your notice. I'll give you a release, you know, and I don't, I don't owe you anything. Titlematchnetwork.com.